City of Tennessee's new chancellor will step into that post Monday morning. But Dondi Plowman is not a newcomer to East Tennessee. She left UT in 2010 for the University of Nebraska. Now back, Plowman says she is ready to help make big things happen in Big Orange Country. Dondi Plowman is a self-proclaimed dreamer. Coming in as UT's ninth chancellor, she says priority number one is listening, pulling from students, staff, faculty, and alum to start making their collective dreams reality. I don't like the idea of leaders coming in and saying, here's the vision. I think that's sort of arrogant. Um, I want to help surface what people are thinking about and dreaming about into a really strong, coherent vision for the, for the university. In the nine years since she left UT, Plowman says changes are everywhere, from new construction, growing student enrollment, and nationally acclaimed programs like supply chain and nuclear engineering. She says the university is primed and ready to build on its successes and has great opportunities. I think one of the things we can do better is figure out how to make more of this partnership with Oak Ridge National Lab. I mean, there are, most universities in the country would long for an opportunity like that. But like other universities, UT is dealing with challenges like racism. Within the last year, racist symbols were painted on the rock and pictures surfaced of students wearing blackface. I think we have to all be diligent about what does it mean to make a campus truly a welcoming, safe place for everybody that's uh, full of diversity of ideas. The increasing cost of college and mounting student debt are other obstacles. The UT Board of Trustees just increased tuition by 2 percent. Plowman says she is committed to keeping it as low as possible. But the other thing is getting students through to graduation efficiently and on time. One of the biggest causes of student debt is students change their majors, students can't get a class they want, so they have to delay it by a semester. I want us to make sure we're doing everything we can to keep students on track to graduate, not in six years, but in four years. In addition to dealing with the challenges, there's a big decision to be made. Plowman will be among the university leaders who will decide whether to allow alcohol sales at UT sporting events. My first priority would be to think about how do we get that set up for non-athletic events, which is initially how the legislature approved that. Let's get a plan in place for concerts and that kind of thing, and let's learn from that, and then work hard at getting a thoughtful, deliberate plan for how that might then play out at athletic events. As John D. Plowman begins her tenure at Tennessee, she's looking beyond her first day on the job to the legacy she hopes to leave behind at UT. I'd like people to say when I left here that, wow, she brought a lot of energy. She generated a lot of positive energy that enabled people to get big things done. I don't know yet what those big things are, but when I leave, I want people to be able to say, wow, that was an era where some big stuff happened. Right now online, you can watch the entire interview with Dr. Plowman. Uh, it was an interesting discussion. She says there are two types of people in life, those who write out their grocery list and those who don't. So here, what kind of person she is, you can find that on our WBIR YouTube page.